He is sponsored by Mattress Firm. Well, good afternoon, El Paso, Las Cruces, and Waters. It's been a wet one the past few days. It's going to stay that way. So I'm going to show you right now what we've been looking at here in the El Paso area in the past eh, about an hour's worth. So you can see it's a little bit over on the other side there, kind of near Waco, Tanks, Crudos, and stuff like that. We're going to zoom in a little bit. You guys can take a peek, and I'll jump out of the way again there. As you can see, this is the past 15 to eh, about an hour's worth of time. You see a lot of lightning strikes up there north of Waco Tank, so it's kind of outside of our area. But if you're seeing that, be careful. You're going to be in those areas. If not, we're going to make another move there, as you can see, for the next hour or so. The rain looks like it's going to be making its way a little north and east of us. But we're going to jump over here to the El Paso area as well, so you guys can kind of see what we're looking at as well. Now, the storms for tonight, this is around 9 p.m., a little bit later in the evening. You see down there in Tornillo, they're starting to get a little bit around that time. Sierra Blanca as well. You're going to be seeing some of that rain. We're going to jump over to about 10 o'clock when it starts to hit there in Tornillo and then starts to get warmed up there in Sierra Blanca. But it's going to make another move here again. A little fast on you. Sorry about that. But again, that red and such, that's a lot of rain. So you can see there in Tornillo heading towards El Paso as well. A lot of rain in those areas around 11 p.m. It's going to keep on going here. We're going to zoom a little closer to the El Paso area. As you can see all throughout near Chaparral, Tornillo, El Paso, even starting to head into Sunland Park making its way up to Vado. You're going to be seeing rain tonight, so be ready for that, especially if you're going to be out and about and on those roads. Take your time, slow down. You know, those freeways get very slick as that oil starts to make its way up there. I want you slipping and sliding into somebody there behind you. Pulling back out to about 12 o'clock tonight. You see it's going to be all over our borderland area. Las Cruces, you're going to be seeing it heading there towards dimming. Definitely rain there as well, all over the El Paso area. And that red stuff, Cooper, my man, hey, don't tempt me with that. I know they're up by 12 with about a minute or two left. Anyways, now you got me off track. <laughs> Let's keep rolling on again. You're going to be seeing rain here pretty much to the borderline all throughout into tomorrow as well. Guadalupe Pass, Van Horn, you'll be getting hit there as well into the evening. So if you're going to be on that I-10 heading down that corridor, again, more there through getting into Van Horn and such, I want you guys to see that. So if you're going to be traveling, be careful on those roads. It's going to be wet. Let's jump on through and take some more look at our rain cast here for the rest of the week in the El Paso area. You see Sunday, 70%. We'll be seeing that rain today again into the evening as well. 50% there for tomorrow. And then a drop off, as you can see, Tuesday and Wednesday. A little bit of reprieve. It's going to dry out just slightly. Maybe a lot of humidity on those days. So be careful for that. Then it's going to jump its way back up there on Thursday. We're thinking 0 to 10%. So I gave you the 10% just in case. And then 20% going into the weekend. Now, it may go up again as well. So we'll keep our eyes on that. So you don't have to worry about it. But we're on it. Now, check out this humidity. 100% there in Cloud Club. 93 in Rio Doso. 63 there in Deming. 55 in the El Paso area. You see Las Cruces, you're at 60 as well. So it's like walking around in jello out there. It's the worst, but at least it's not that hot out there. You're going to be in your 70s, maybe about 76, 77 for your high. Your temperatures right now in the El Paso area, you see there's 73 degrees, 66 over there in Las Cruces. So not too bad. 48 up there in Rio Doso. Starting to get cold in Cloudcroft. Let's jump over to your seven day forecast sponsored by Magis from again, under that first alert till about Monday. We'll keep our eyes on Tuesday, but just make sure you guys are doing okay. You see you in your high 70s, dropping into those 50s. We're cooling off 80 though on Monday. So it's going to jump back up a little bit, but then we're going to stay cooling off as we go on into the rest of the weekend. More chances of rain as well, dropping down to overnights in your 50s. When we come back, Rachel's going to have all the deets on them boys, baby.